Hi there, this is Alex Robber, and I'm here with our hydrogeology and groundwater systems speaker, Matt Uliana, to talk about our upcoming two-session webinar. So Matt, as you bring 20 years in hydrogeology and groundwater consulting, what are some of the biggest mistakes or misconceptions that you've seen people make with groundwater? If I can address it towards uh, students that come out of hydrogeology-related programs, one of the biggest deficiencies I see is that they fail to understand the difference between vertical and horizontal hydraulic gradients. And they fail to understand that gradient is something that exists in three dimensions. It's easy to think of fluid flow in two dimensions, but it's hard to think of it in three-dimensional terms. And that's something that students uh, tend to fall short on early in their careers. In terms of what people don't seem to understand is that people have an idea in general that groundwater systems, I think they understand that they're dynamic, but they have a problem understanding that groundwater systems operate on much longer time scales than surface water systems do. So we can easily see drought and uh, you know drought cycles with surface water systems. We have a couple years of drought and the reservoirs get really low. You have one good rainfall and then that causes everything to recover. And in, the, in groundwater systems, those systems operate on on decades to centuries. So a couple of years of drought really don't affect a high groundwater system, and that's not really critical in terms of how a couple of years of drought is going to affect overall recharge to the typical aquifer. The only caveat to that is that whenever we have a drought, people tend to pump more. So that's that in turn is going to so the human influence can affect the aquifers, but naturally they don't really respond that much to drought scenarios on uh, you know single or multiple year basis. That makes sense. We'll be addressing these pitfalls in our upcoming course, as well as a ton of other information. Tell us a little bit about what you'll be covering. So we'll be talking about the fundamentals of how fluid occurs and moves through the subsurface. We're going to be talking about the energy that drives fluid movement, the properties of the media through which the fluid moves. We're going to cover the components of groundwater systems and how we study those systems. And then we're going to get into some uh, qualitative applications of using the primary equations to calculate fluid velocities, to predict the impact of wells, uh, to evaluate geochemical data, and use geochemical data to understand groundwater systems, and to understand the fundamentals of contaminant hydrogeology. That's a lot of information. No wonder it is a two-part course. And for those audience members who have not signed up yet, why should they sign up? Well, someone should take this course if they are a specialist, or if they're a technical specialist and haven't had a hydrogeology course um, or took one a long time ago and need a refresher on the basic concepts so that they can apply some of these concepts to their uh, you know, professional careers. This would be a very good overall refresher course for them on the basic concepts and uh, how do you do some of the basic calculations. For someone who's not in a, in a technical background, but works with groundwater, say somebody who works for a municipal water supply or someone who works for a law firm that deals with water law or someone who is just uh, a citizen who, and a stakeholder in an area that has an aquifer that's getting a lot of attention from uh, people who are trying to develop that groundwater. This would be a very useful class for them to help them understand what the basic terms mean, what the basic concepts mean, so that they can understand the material that the, the individual that the specialists are putting out and so that they can communicate with them and, and understand what some of the things mean. Even if they never have to do the calculation, they still need to have a basic understanding of what the calculation is and what the limitations of that calculation are so that they can communicate with them and then hopefully make better choices about what programs to support and et cetera, et cetera. So I think it can really help someone who is not in a technical background to understand these concepts better so that they can communicate with people who are in a technical background. Thanks, Matt. Well, that's all we have time for today. You can sign up for our hydrogeology and groundwater systems webinar at forestryuniversity.net, as well as our library of 225 courses, or check out our other clips at our Forestry University YouTube channel.